and welcome back. It's been such a long time since I've made a video. Um, been away for a little bit, been doing different things with my other job and stuff, so it's been hard to, um, to get a, an agency shift. But anyway, welcome to the channel if you're new. Okay, Izzy Reviews, where we go and do different agency shifts, different work, trunking, tramping, multi-drop, class ones, class twos, anything and everything we can get our hands on, okay, with the agencies and give some tips and, and uh, an insight to any of those uh, shifts that I do and, and almost a review, so, so to speak. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. If you're, uh, you know, one of the uh, few subscribers that I've got, then uh, thanks for watching. Uh, either way, hit that like and please subscribe. We're just short of a thousand, uh, so that would really help me out. Anyway, it's four in the morning, okay? So nice and early start. And as per usual, uh, the agency gave me a call literally the day before. So yeah, I didn't have much time to, to prep or anything like that it was literally by the way we've got a shift in about 12 odd hours uh, at four in the morning what do you think why not like I said once you get there once you're in the seat there's no going back so you've got to go ahead and uh, get that done plus at 19 pound an hour class one shift there was no way I was turning that down yeah so good pay minimum you know eight hours uh, I'll probably end up making this one a 10 or 11 hour shift by the looks of it but anyway let me tell you about the job itself I've got this absolutely stunning Volvo, which, by the way, has all the bells and whistles. It's got a TV, for God's sake. I mean, it's unreal. No, it's really good stuff. Everything's automated. There's loads of extra bells and whistles that us drivers love when it comes to safety and cameras and sensors. It's just all in all an amazing truck, really. Uh, and I'll give you a little tour later on in the video. But some exciting news i've recently been working on my own little podcast okay so i'm just going to give it a little thing down here um and it's on the description if you like it if you if you're a trucker if you're a general person that listens to podcasts on long distances like we do then give it a listen to on spotify okay it's just basically me and my mate talking about some relevant stuff taking the piss and uh, having a good time so yeah i'll put the link in the description there but ultimately it's called the light work podcast and uh, yeah, go check it out. Anyway, that's the good news over. To the bad news. It's four in the morning. <laughs> oh. um, and the reason for, for this video and the title name and all of that stuff is because there are some things you do need to be careful when you're taking on shifts like this, okay? When you're taking on shifts that start in 12 hours or less, or when you're starting shifts that are this early, in the morning there are some things that you will need to think about and these things are as follows for instance if you if you're starting at four in the morning all of a sudden your body clock is not going to be adjusted to that time zone all right so i normally go to bed about 11 ish half 11 ish um you know maybe even later okay and i wake up around half seven because of the kids and whatnot now, if you're then asking me the following day to just randomly wake up at three in the morning to be in work for four, you know, ideally I need to be going to bed at like six, seven p.m., which is not gonna happen in my body clock. So it's just things like that to be aware of. You know, the day before you might wanna, you might wanna stay up late, have a really shit night's sleep so that the following day you can go to bed at like five, six, seven p.m. and then wake up at three in the morning and you're all good. But um, it's just stuff like that to be really cautious of because you're not gonna, let's be realistic, you're not just suddenly gonna boom, go to sleep at like 8, 9 p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m. It's not gonna happen so that you can wake up for three, get yourself sorted, start driving at four. So that's one of the big things that I would say is, is when you're looking at doing a sudden swap of a body clock or, or you're suddenly gonna go and do a really, um, early shift or something like that. It's just be careful because, you know, you, you need your sleep, you need your hours. You may not feel it in the morning. Like now, I've had a cup of coffee, I'm good. But I guarantee you in the next five, six hours, nah, longer than that, in the next, oh, that's tight. In the next, um, you know, eight or nine hours, I'm gonna start feeling fatigued. I'm gonna start, it's gonna start hitting me, okay? So it's just things like that to be worried about. Or not worried about, concerned about yeah why not and to be honest that's that's my take on that that's one of my main ones 
The second thing is, when you do get these late calls from the agencies or last minute jobs, okay, it could mean either they couldn't find the, the driver, okay, and they've used you as a last resort, or more importantly, every other driver has passed down that that job for a certain reason or other. You know, maybe they don't feel comfortable going into central London, which I'm not doing, by the way. And because the agency, it's last minute, they've not got too much info, they just wanna get you in there booked in. It's just another thing to worry about. Make sure you ask loads of questions, try and get a bit of info just in case it is one of those jobs that everyone's going, no, I'm not doing that. Like, not a chance. So just, just be careful with that one as well. Anyway, enough chit chat from me. We've got two hours left of driving. So we've got about two hours left to go till we get to uh, Leicester. And then we've got, oh yeah, the load, by the way, the load is, tons and tons of mayonnaise all right so um i might put that in the thumbnail actually so if you see mayonnaise on the thumbnail that's why <laughs> uh congrats on getting this far in the video but anyway let's get to it let's get driving and um i'll let you guys know once we get there we'll do a bit of filming there as well so you can see uh you know what type of things to look out for and 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 how the shift goes so yeah let's get going let's get driving we've got two hours left till we get to Leicester to deliver that mayonnaise, that precious mayonnaise. Um, so I'll see you guys then and I'll update you as I go along. Right, so good thing is we're at the right place. Just went to that, to the, uh, to the office there just to have a look at what the crack is really basically um, and he told me to just move back a little bit gave me the whole spiel about the site don't go here wear high vest vests all of that good stuff um, so yeah I'm just waiting to get in really uh, park into a bay they'll, they'll, they'll offload me and all of that stuff so yeah can't go wrong really so yeah as you can see that's them down there at the top right okay right so I'm first in the queue so basically two more lorries came and the guy started panicking. But sometimes that happens, right? There's there's a queuing system when you get to these places in the form of first come, first serve. So I was there first, went in, got my brief about the safety, all of that good stuff, how to get this delivery um, completed, shall we say. And then on my way out, I got told to move back a little bit and then two more lorries came in. So now I'm in, a, I'm in the actual uh, loading dock place um, as you can see, so I'm waiting to go here. It's a small, it's a small distribution center. So I'm gonna have to go forward and try and reverse back. So I am waiting for said person to leave. I'm gonna go in there, try and get as much of an angle as I can, so I don't have to take too many shunts. But I do presume I will have to take, you know, two or three. Welcome back everyone. So, as you saw there, got offloaded. It took about an hour and a half, no, an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, I just basically had inside the truck, just chilling on a break. And I put myself on break because they had facilities for me to, to go and utilize. Anyway, the next place we're delivering to is 21 miles away. So. We did a two and a half hour drive this morning after leaving at about five-ish I left, an hour after I started. Now we've only got, what, 45 minute drive until the next place, if that. And then I'll probably have to wait another hour and a half. So yeah, if you're looking for nice and quick, easy jobs, I'd recommend ones like that, where it's just the big distribution centers. Move on to those ones. After, after obviously getting yourself some experience with the retail delivery and the multi-drops, that'll, that'll teach you quickly. Uh, how to utilize your vehicle, how to maneuver, all of that stuff. Because you'll go to, to places that are a little bit tight, not HUV friendly, and you just gotta get yourself down, do those shifts that 
will give you that experience you know there's no there's no point avoiding it because at some point in time you will come across it even on these shifts you're not you're not never going to do that but at least they're better the places you go are HEV friendly the facilities everything the way the system works um, you, you're not doing anything you're chilling in the cab so yeah as far as I'm concerned this is this is a good shift right welcome back everyone like I said I'm gonna keep you posted and by the looks of it we are reaching our second drop um, get rid of this mayonnaise which is again so weird so weird having like 20 tons of mayonnaise I just don't understand ah uh, it looks like there's a queue um, we'll join the queue I guess yeah sometimes when you get to these places you you might uh, you might encounter a bit of a queue and that's fine just place yourself behind them handbrake on all of that good stuff and yeah get yourself behind them however do make sure that it is in fact a queue they're not just stopped there or broken down or gone for a wee or, or anything like that so go down to the um, to the office like I'm about to do and give them the paperwork see what's happening what's a crack and uh, get get offloaded really and make sure you stick yourself on brake if you want to have a break uh, it looks like there's a little calf there so I'm actually gonna go and have a brew and then I'll offload once I'm good and ready really yeah I'll see you when I need to reverse again. do a bit of manual labor there so at the beginning when I was telling you oh, it's easy. yeah sometimes there's a bit of that regardless of where you go and like I said you know it will always happen one way or the other but these shifts are pretty good majority of the time uh, that was one of the uh, only ones I've had to do and to be honest it took like three minutes to get what five pallets off six pallets off something like that um, so yeah not not too much hard work anyway we went into the depot next door picked up all the empty versions of uh, the stuff you saw me um, get rid of so we've got some empty to take back to the depot uh, and I think it's around about a three hour drive I believe back to Andover not not too sure but before I even think about making my way back I've got to find somewhere here to turn around and there's all these cars like here so I'm thinking go in there back up and then back out but it never goes as planned so we shall see we shall see but my aim is to um yeah reverse down there turn around do a little three-point turn and get out of this place so let's get that done finished loading all of that nonsense as you can see I've done some expert reversing which is why I'm extra happy okay look end of the day everyone's got it everyone's got their strengths and everyone's got their flaws and everyone's got their weak areas whatever mine is reversing I fucking hate it but the more you do it the better you get and as per that video you know I'm not the best in the world but you know as long as you can achieve um, the idea that's, that's all that matters. Who cares how many shunts you take? Who cares if you get out your cab and have a look? End of the day, as long as you're not hitting anything and you're not making accidents or you know putting other people in danger, that's what it's about. So, end of the day, I'm happy. Got it all done, got everything done. Smooth sailing back. And 
as you're all aware, previous people that have watched my videos, we love it when we're empty, okay? And we can just actually feel the power of this Volvo. Um, it's an actual beast, by the way. And I found out why it's so smooth. It's so smooth. I mean, look at that. I'm already on 55. What the fuck? It's so smooth because it's got a dual clutch, got dual plated clutch. So it goes through the gears like butter. It's unreal. Um, adaptive cruise control on. And there we go. Oh, oh. Mm, give me that. Give me that. 19 pound an hour for nothing um yeah it's been a good day it's been a good shift i can't complain started at four in the morning so the roads have been dead all day um and i should get back around half two might even stop before we get there uh take a little bit of a coffee break you know just oh shush just in case um you know in fact no my driver's hours are absolutely sound I've stuck it on brake every time, so as far as this thing's aware, I have I have a lot of working hours to do if I want it, or driving hours. Uh, nonetheless, we're on our way back. We got our nice brew, still hot. Aldi seven pound shout out. I should get sponsorships from them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? I'll tell you what some maniac drivers at the minute that's that's the only thing i've got to say about this shift at the moment there have been maniacs not even the word like people pulling out joining the dual carriageway like like you've got the brakes of a car i suppose people don't realize that you're fully loaded and it takes you about two weeks to come to a standstill but still do you know what i mean have have a bit of respect if someone's driving a fucking hev don't don't jump out at them do not drive out of them, all right? You'll shit me up, you'll shit us up. Chances are we, we will make the stop, but hey, <laughs> it will just ruin our day, so don't be a cunt. Welcome back, everyone. Thought I'd update you. Still in traffic, as per usual, on the uh, M40. But no, yeah, we're, uh, we're reaching reaching our destination give this lovely vehicle back which is a shame really because I know it's gonna be a while maybe before I drive an awesome um, Volvo such as this one again and I've got to add to that that's kind of another con sorry another pro or another benefit to picking up the odd agency shift um, you know, you, you get to go to some new places, you get to experience a new business the way that they do business, funnily enough, uh, and drive some new tra uh, some new tractor units and some new wagons, new trailers. It's just the best way to get new experience. Like if you're a new driver, you're watching this video and you wanna see what day, day in the life is like and all of that good stuff, then heed, heed to that advice, okay? Get yourself into an agency shift uh, and start doing loads of little, little jobs here, there, and everywhere. Start getting experiences on Volvos, Scanias, Mercedes, refrigerated tractor units, Arctics, curtain siders, everything. Um, get yourself into everything. Once you can get that sorted, okay, compile it all into your nice little CV. And uh, that way, you can use this video here and apply for loads of jobs. Um, whether they need one year experience, whether they want people with container work experience, all of that good stuff, you might be able to say yes to that. And that's what it's about. It's about being able to say yes to other companies asking for certain things. Whatever it is that they require, you want to be in a position of yes, yes, I have done this. I've got the experience. Give me the job. Also, I want to add, I have thoroughly enjoyed making these videos. I'd t it'd been so long since I made a video and uh, I was really anxious about making this one because I was like I, it's almost like I forgot to talk to the camera it was weird but now that I'm doing it I'm doing the shift and I'm, I'm doing the videos again and stuff like that and I got another one tomorrow and the day after that um yeah I'm, I'm excited I can't wait I can't wait to go back home can't wait to do a bit of editing um, can't wait to post some social media Instagram all that good stuff so right Another good thing to be uh, mentioning is that 
I'm actually going on holiday. Once I get back from Scotland next week, week in Scotland, come back for, have two weeks off, and I'm going on holiday, um, me and my family, to Turkey for 11 nights, all inclusive. I'll probably put a video about the hotel and stuff. Um, and it was all paid for by doing this stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy that I found this little, uh, these little gigs, these little part-time gigs, you know, utilizing my license on the side, on top of my normal job and being able to, you know, save up and, and do things like that. So um, it just goes to show really like, if you've got the time or if you're willing, or if you like driving, you want to do it full time, part time, whatever, get yourself on these agency shifts, get yourself on, on you know, on these high paying shifts and uh, save it up and go on holiday or reinvest it or whatever you want to do. But on that note, I shall leave you there. Thanks for watching. Enjoy um, the future content. I'm going to record a few more shifts tomorrow and the day after and hopefully go check out the podcast. If you've got some time to kill, it's a good bit of fun, a uh, good listen. So yeah. I shall leave you all there and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.